letters of recommendation are a common element of an application process, whether for employment, colleges, or scholarships. But how many letters do you need? And how do you go about asking for one? Hi, I'm Margaret Meek, and this is all you need to know about letters of recommendation. A good letter of recommendation gives the reader insight into your skills, abilities, strengths, and temperament, as observed by someone who is outside of your family or social circle. Typically, this person is in a position of authority and can speak to your positive attributes. Recommendations provide additional perspective and can help verify aspects of you and your record that you may have provided in your application or an interview. Realistically, not all colleges will require a letter of recommendation, but colleges value the added input and insight just as they value your admissions essay. It gives them more information on your behalf. This can be especially valuable if you have areas of your application that are not as strong, such as not meeting recommended GPA or test score benchmarks. Reading about your personal strengths in a letter of recommendation can often tip the scales of acceptance in your favor. To get things started, it's helpful to remember the following. Having one or two letters of recommendation on hand at all times is a good rule of thumb. When it comes to applying to colleges or scholarships, most will provide some guidelines as to how many they want or will accept, or if they want a letter from a specific individual, like a certain teacher or counselor. You will want to follow these guidelines since college admissions offices look at whether or not you can follow their instructions in putting together your application. Most colleges are not very strict on the number of letters they require. However, keep in mind that they will be reading thousands of letters, so you can help them out when you don't overdo it. We recommend you submit one or two letters of recommendation, possibly three if you're applying to a specialized program. Deciding who to ask for a letter is a big deal. As mentioned previously, you will want to ask a non-family member who can speak to your positive traits and attributes. Colleges place the most weight on letters written by teachers, particularly teachers in the core areas of English, mathematics, science, and social studies. These teachers can attest to your academic successes, including information such as class participation, critical thinking, work ethic, social interaction, just to name a few. Beyond academic perspectives, other people to ask for a letter of recommendation can include elective teachers, coaches, counselors, administrators, volunteers, or work supervisors and mentors. These people should be able to share information about your passions, your dedication to certain causes, or special circumstances or adversities you have faced. Once you have decided who to ask, get to it. Giving that person plenty of time can be the difference between receiving a good, personalized letter or not. Here are some other components to asking for a letter of recommendation. First, remember that asking for a letter is a personal request. As such, it is best to ask in person rather than via email or text. Provide information about yourself, such as a resume or personal profile. Though your letter writer might know you well, they are likely not aware of certain details, such as specific honors or awards you've received, or where you are volunteering. Let your recommender know if there are certain aspects about you or your work that you would like highlighted in case they are able to do so. Next, share any specific needs for your letter. Most often, a letter can be generalized to a college or scholarship. However, once in a while, it can be important to directly address a specific program. Remember, if your circumstances change between when you send this email and the deadlines. Let your writers know about your life update. If you've been elected a captain of your team, if you've become an officer of an organization, or if you have an internship or volunteer activities in your chosen field, let your writers know. As mentioned previously, give enough advanced notice. A minimum of three weeks is suggested, but more time is usually helpful. Inform your recommenders of due dates. Follow up with your letter writers a week before their letters are due. In short, a friendly reminder is often appreciated. On your college applications, there may be an option called the FERPA Release Authorization. This means you forfeit your right to view the letters. Not doing so can raise a red flag for a college. 
Generally, you should already trust the person you've asked to write the letter that they will represent you well. Remember that letters are written as a courtesy, not as a job requirement. As such, they are often written on personal time. Sharing your appreciation with a short thank you note or card will make your letter writer's day. Identify how your letter will be sent. Is there an electronic process embedded in your application or does your school use certain software to send letters and other documents electronically? Check with your school's counseling office about this if you're not sure. If you need to send a letter via snail mail, be sure to provide your letter writer with a stamped and addressed envelope. If you're utilizing the Common or Coalition applications, make sure to add your recommenders and verify that they've accepted the responsibility through the online application. Finally, ask if you can have a copy of your letter for your records. You might be able to use this letter in the future, perhaps for a scholarship application. Speaking of your future, as you continue your education and beyond, it is wise to ask for letters of recommendation from key people along the way. They will come in handy as you apply for scholarships, jobs in your career field, or if you decide to apply for a graduate school someday. Letters of recommendation are a very important part of your college applications. If you found any of the information in this video useful, hit the thumbs up to let us know we helped. If you have any more questions about letters of recommendation, let us know in the comments down below.